today we are headed to Epcot because we decided to sleep in a little bit this morning, enjoy, we're currently on the Skyliner leaving Pop Century right now, and we are so, so excited for the day. I have the Guardians Lightning Lane, we have a Remy's Lightning Lane, we're going to Chefs de France today, we're fully doing like we food and wine. We are eating food and wine. Yeah, we're more focused on going through food and wine and relaxing today because it's supposed to be upwards of almost 90. Almost so 90. We want to relax, chill. We're trying to be in a light all the other, color. All the rides the other day, so we we're did. Okay. Yeah, we did a ton of rides already. We'll do a few rides today, but we're, it's just not our like main priority, yeah. which is why we decided to sleep in a little bit. We had a really late, late reservation last night at California Grill. We yeah. ended up not going to bed till like midnight or whatever. And one that meal put us to sleep. To sleep. Like, to it sleep. was it was crazy. So if you are so excited to spend the day with us as much as we're excited to spend it with you, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button down below and make sure to turn on your post notification bell so that you never miss a video but without further ado let's head to Epcot Ooh, yeah. and we were walking because we're gonna go ride Living with the Land and they got a Fountain Diet Coke and the popcorn was literally just popped. Like, it is fresh, warm. Oh, perfect. So now, we are headed to Living with the Land and we're also probably gonna ride Soren as well. And then, in this pavilion, there is something called the it's like tacos that they do in Disneyland, but they brought them to Walt Disney World, so we're gonna try those two, which I'm so excited about. And we're just here to eat, drink, and be merry. All right, Nuggy Pie. What do, we, what do we have? So we are at Sunshine Seasons, and this is the Feria Tacos Special, which this is actually what they have in Disneyland, and it's like known in Disneyland, so it's here for, a, I think it was Hispanic Heritage Month, they have these. And then we're also gonna try, just because, the Mongolian beef. That looks but absolutely now, stunning. I might be a little bit more hesitant because there's egg in the fried rice. Oh my I goodness. Don't love egg, but I'm still gonna try it. So we're gonna go into the tacos. I'm gonna put some of this on. It's cilantro and onions. We ended up finishing up at the Sunshine Seasons. The tacos were probably one of the literal best things that I have had on this entire trip. They were so, so good. And we ended up riding Living With The Land and I had gotten a lightning lane for Soren. So we spent a little bit of time in the AC, about an hour, hour and a half, which was so nice. And we also came back to the creation shop because yesterday was Epcot's 40th anniversary. We were not in the parks because we decided to do Hollywood Studios because there was a ton, like millions of people here. Here, but let me show you what I got in the creation shop. Epcot 40th anniversary haul from the creation shop. They still had the commemorative day of pin. So it says Epcot October 1st, 2022. So I got actually two of these, one of, for me and one for my bestie Carter, who, Carter, if you're watching this, you already know that you got a pin. So, so excited for me to send it to you. And then I got this commemorative day of anniversary shirt as well. So it says Epcot October 1st, 2022. And then the back is this really cool, like, funky size. So I got it in a large so it could be oversized and comfortable. So that was another, like, day of purchase. And then this is not a day of purchase. I think they're supposed to continue these, but this is Corey's shirt. So Corey ended up going for a long sleeve. And it says Epcot 40. And then on the back, it has basically the same as mine. He got it in a 2X so that he can wear it, like, nice and oversized, throw it in the dryer, and doesn't have to worry about anything. So now... We're outside and we're ready to start the entire food and wine festival. I'm so, so excited. So, Corey is starting us off very strong and we came to Coastal Eats and we have heard such good things about the Oysters Rockefeller and so, Corey is about to eat it. Here we have the Oysters Rockefeller. I've already squeezed lemon onto it. I can't wait. You already know on this channel that I love oysters. So, here What's we are. What's in them do we know? Oh, that's lovely. Was it good? There's oysters, spinach, breadcrumb, lemon, definitely butter. In the Coastal Eats Oysters Rockefeller, there is 
Nothing labeled, nothing listed. No. So I'm assuming, no, that's the baked shrimp dish. No. This must be just breadcrumbs. I literally said breadcrumbs, spinach, and oysters is literally what it tastes like. It. That's but, delightful. Yeah, so, so good. So I don't good. like oysters, like I'm not a fan, so Corey's gonna tackle that. I'm Ooh. gonna give it an eight. The what? oyster's kind of a bit chewy, so I don't know if it was just how it was prepared. Yep. Maybe that's because it's cooked. The love of my life has returned. And I'm a little scared. I ended up going to Flavors from Fire, and I got the banh mi bao with charred grilled Asian skirt steak, chicken liver aioli, pickled onions, and cilantro. Let's see it. But there's those big things of jalapeno, and I do not do well with spice. Like, you take the jalapenos off, love. So I'm just gonna try a piece of the steak first. The steak is good. Like it's not hot hot and the cold veggie is really good. I would say maybe 7.5, 8 out of 10. And I'm not getting points because I'm actually not a lover of the bao bun. Like I don't love doughy buns, but the inside is like amazing. We have now tried something new and it is the grilled pork shoulder lettuce wraps, which I mean presentation, let me tell you. From where? 10 out of 10. This was from the Swanky Swine. Swanky Saucy Swine. Hard 10 out of 10. We have made it into the Mexico pavilion, like where the pyramid is. We've never actually been all the way back here, which is cool. And Corey got a margarita. What did you get? I got the cucumber from... It's called La Cava del Tequila. La Cava del Tequila. And people rave about La Cava del Tequila, so let's see if you like this one better than the one that's frozen outside. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, can I try a sip? It's made with a mess kettle. That's nice. That's a Very smokiness. refreshing. That's yeah, lovely. I was gonna say it is a little smoky. I can like taste it. Yeah, that's great. So we're just enjoying Mexico. Sorry if you can hear the little fountain behind us. It's our only little place to sit. So we're just enjoying some air conditioning. And now Corey's gonna enjoy margarita. We are now in Germany, and Corey has his grapefruit beer, which you haven't had in like a year. But Corey dreams about this beer every time we come to Disney. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. It feels like forever to us since we've checked in with you. Obviously, to you it doesn't, but it is. To them, it's two seconds. Literally 4.30, and the last time we checked in was when you got your beer, which was like yeah, an hour a while ago. ago. So we sat at like such a nice little bench over here in the Germany Pavilion, and we spoke to this absolutely lovely woman. She was so, so, so kind, and there's just something about the people in Epcot. They just are superior to others because they're in a little bit more of a relaxed state because yep. this park is not a high fast park no. so it's just like amazing mm -hmm. so now we are heading into the ornament Christmas store in Germany because if you're new to the channel Corey and I collect and get travel ornaments every time that we travel somewhere yeah. on a vacation a day trip or something so let's go and pick out an ornament I was in there before I'm pick it out. Corey's probably gonna want to pick it out so he's gonna run off but when I was in here before when Corey was getting his beer they had like some beautiful beautiful ornaments some are Disney themed some are just like hand-blown glass so I'll show you some but they are so beautiful if you're in Germany it's on the left hand side and it's called the Christmas corner and I don't know how to pronounce it in German but let me show you some of these absolutely beautiful beautiful ornaments you also can get really adorable like Christmas merch in here as well so they have these little mini and Mickey mugs and they have snow globes and plates Here's one like more Disney themed Christmas ornament, which is really pretty. And then they also just have like beautiful hand blown glass ornaments that are not Disney themed. So you can just find like any just really beautiful ornament that you like. And then they also have, Corey and I have one that looks just like that, but they have all different just beautiful glass blown ornaments that you can pick out as well and of course they have Disney theming so this was actually the ornament that Corey and I got on our last trip when we came for the holidays but they have all of these like adorable little Mickey ornaments as well and then they have look how cute he is Mickey with the little gingerbread man and then they have these as well which are just big glass balls with a Mickey Mouse and if you're coming in here too they have some pillows and they also on the other side over here Corey's over here but they have like 
little nutcrackers and they have aprons and just a ton of stuff. Mr. Corey did a little spilling. I made a mess. But it's totally fine because it's just what he's good for, but it's okay, honey. All right, so tell us what you got from the Belgium booth. Your flight. It's cheaper to do this and you get more beer. You get four, you get three four ounce pours yep. for $10. So it's 12 ounces for $10, but the biggest spread they have over there is nine ounces for eight dollars and i'm like it's cheaper to do this right you get more beer so what were the three beers that you got? i have no idea um did they just give them to you or yes they just gave them to me. it's the three beers that they respectfully had all got it i know one's like a light lager one's more of like an amber and then do you want to just give one a sip and see which one are you feel like you're most excited to try Ooh. good oh. You will like this one. It reminds me of the blonde from Cape Cod Beer. Oh, I love the Cape Cod Beer blonde. Very nice. I got this really cutie Belgian waffle with berry compote and whipped cream because I wanted something a little bit light. The waffle, we're going to cut into it now. Little whipped cream, little waffle, little berries. Yes. This is so light, so refreshing. So I'm going to give this waffle 9.5 out of 10. Oh, snap. And also, I need to add to this. This one is like a raspberry. Oh. Is it good? It's delightful. Yes. So, I'm going to take four bites of that, and yeah. you're going to deal with it. So, just want to say something. So, Corey ended up getting the, it's like a spam. Spam. Sushi. Mishubi nigiri is the official title. But Corey, for like... A um, few months has been saying, I want to try spam want out of spam. nowhere. We're in the so, grocery store. Want to try wants it? Wants to try it. Not buying it. But. So today we're trying it at Epcot, and it was from the Hawaii booth. So give it a try. Are you just gonna put like the whole thing in your mouth, or? Yes, I am. Okay. Are you unsure? You don't. I don't really taste anything other than rice and the seaweed. Okay. So. I mean, the last part's good, but I guess I don't know what Spam is supposed to taste like. Yeah, I don't really know either. I mean, I've never had it. All right, so we have made it into Chef's de France. It is beautiful in here. We are sitting like directly in front of the window so you can see all of the France section in France, Paris, and Epcot. I was like delayed thinking of what that even was, but it is so cute in here and I am so excited to dine here. Corey, this was all Corey. Corey's choice, Corey's pick. He's been wanting to dine here since we came to Disney over a year and a half ago. He has been like itching, itching, itching to try this place. So we're gonna give a full review and I am super excited. All right, so we've got some bread which comes in this really cute little paper that Corey is gonna take out. Ooh, it's warm. Yeah, it's felt warm. So you get the baguette and the butter. So we're trying the bread and the butter. My only thing is, is the butter is like a cinder block. Like I, you cannot spread that whatsoever. But the bread is warm and fluffy. So, so I would say the only knock to the bread and butter is that the butter is so hard, you just cannot spread it. So it becomes a little bit challenging. You're eating like clumps of butter, but the bread itself is so soft and like fluffy that it's delicious. Corey has decided to get the escargot. So, his first time ever. Is it good? And then I just got a really delicious, huge salad with spring mix, croutons, bacon, some onion, and vinaigrette. I just needed some greens. Your standard salad. Not great, not horrible. Super basic, but what I will say is for, for someone like me who has not had salad or greens in a while, it's a big salad. So if you're looking for a nice salad and some greens, then I would say this is a good salad for you. Mademoiselle Brianna, what do you have to eat tonight? So I got the filet with green beans and it came with potatoes gratin, but I didn't want that. I wanted a regular mash. So let's see how this filet is cooked. Looks delicious, right? Show us the bite. That entire piece is your bite. And Corey, what was the name of yours? I had the um, bourguignon. All right, go ahead, give it a try. Like nothing. Actually, yeah. Would you like a bite? Maybe I would. So right. we have dessert, and Corey, what did you get? I have the citrus cake with a strawberry lime cream and a berries compote. All right, we'll give it a try. Mmm. Mm. Yummy. 
Good. I got the creme brulee, which looks absolutely amazing. And is there anything better than when you get creme brulee when you just snap it? So good. Hello everyone, we have finished up at Chefs de France. So here's a full rating. Corey, kick us off. I'm giving it a seven. I thought the escargot was lovely. Yep. I will come back for that. I thought our server was great. My main entree just didn't blow me away. I mean, like it was cooked fine. It just, there was nothing, yeah. anything spectacular to it. Yeah. And same thing with the dessert. Yeah, I would say, honestly, I'm gonna give it like a 5.5 or six. Like I think the idea of eating there is great and the server was lovely. And I just had basically like a standard salad. My filet was just like really weird and had a lot of tendons in it and the green beans were good and the mashed potatoes were good and the creme brulee was standard but like for after tip a hundred and seventy four dollars for that meal like Topolino's is better and we pay way less yeah. so I think it was a fun experience to try it and I think we would go back to like the escargot and maybe a glass of wine and a little bit of air conditioning but I don't think I would ever wake up for a dining reservation and book Chefs de France, I will be going to like Teppanato or Topolino's like way over that restaurant, right. like 100%. So right. I think where it was subpar, like to me, I think you had like escargot, which made your meal way better than yeah. mine, but like I was not blown away. I thought it was very basic. Still a good time. I enjoyed going out to dinner with Corey. So exactly. the company was a 10 out of 10. Booyah, yes. exactly. So now what are we doing? We're going to Rice Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Green Wine. Yes, which I'm so excited about. Also, look at the beautiful ball. Like, Epcot looks bad. So, we're gonna go ride Guardians, and let's see what song we get. We won't give any spoilers again. We're not giving any spoilers, but we will share with you when we get off what There is song one we of get. six songs that we can get. There's your hint. Yes. the best, best time. We watched Harmonious, but actually even before we talk about Harmonious, our song from Cosmic Rewind. Changed. We got one way or, or another. another. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna find you. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get you, get you, get you, get you one way. So I loved that. I was singing the entire time because it was so upbeat and peppy and I was just excited to have a new song. So that was amazing. So Guardians again, 10 out of 10. Like I just, I love it. Love it, love it so much. Are we going to our top three now? Top three, and our last top three of the trip. Do you want to start or do you want me to start? You, because I feel so I've started every night. Wait, I actually started last night, so you can start. My first one was getting to the park later. That was nice. I think nice. it was nice yeah. to get there. Granted, it was a hot day, so we were like, wow, we wish we had a normal day, but I yep. did enjoy getting to the park later and yeah. then just having the park day from there. It was nice. Number two was our bench sit oh. that we had. Yeah. There was an hour and a half, hour 15 that we had that we just sat on the bench, but we we're also playing a game where it was like, ooh, find a family with matching shirts or find someone wearing Crocs. So like yep. we kind of made a game it out of hilarious. it. It was hilarious. So it was a good time. And then lastly was being able to see Harmonious because it's absolutely Ugh, fabulous. I absolutely love Harmonious. So my top three are, the first was getting a new song on Guardians of the Galaxy because I think it made the ride that much better because on our first time riding it, we got the same song twice so it was I don't think it was as good my second favorite was 100% watching harmonious mm -hmm. like I love 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 harmonious and my third favorite was us sitting on the bench people watching and playing the game because it was just absolutely hilarious mm. so with that being said that concludes the Disney vlogs 
which is so sad, but also so nice because I am ready to get back into a routine, but I am obviously, of course, so sad to be leaving. Mm -hmm. So if you have loved this video, if you've loved spending our vacation with us, make sure to give the video a big, big thumbs up. And please, if you want to see more of these videos, please press that subscribe button down below. And make sure to turn on your post notification bell so you never miss another video. But with that, we will see you real soon. And thanks so much for spending our Disney vacation with us. Bye, everyone. Good.